This is Aldous Huxley, a man haunted by a vision of hell on earth. A searing social critic, Mr. Huxley, 27 years ago, wrote Brave New World, a novel that predicted that someday the entire world would live under a frightful dictatorship. You'll find out why in a moment. Welcome to the new age of renegade machines, the child of the new world and fascist regimes, remnants of the Third Reich lurk behind the scenes, training all the puppets and then pulling on their strings. It's a dark, dark circus with a serpent man a king, feeding on the energy of creatures in the kingdom, on the people and the cattle and the fishes and the sheep. Daily mass genocide while most of the people sleep. It's a cold-blooded, murderous, money-hungry beast, creeping through the tapestry of everything we see, from the schools to the hospitals, the malls and the screens, at the supermarket, on the covers of the magazines, and the EMFs every day raining on our brains, and the GMOs tailored to affect our DNA, and the DSM criteria to diagnose your state, and the drugs and the water meant to keep us all sedated. It's a well-planned kill man, never gonna give a damn, murder off a whole race, quit just to claim land, no shame, old game, propaganda campaign, tricking you to pick a side when it's all the same thing, red team, blue team, ready, set, go, behind the scenes both, the run of the same control, big money, blood, money, brotherhood, ties, an empire built upon lies, lies, we're rising from the ashes to cut through the facades, never bowing down to the self-appointed gods, step into their armies against all odds, and the tidal wave of revolution will not be stopped, it's a preordained sure thing happening right now, coming from the kingdom and the kingdom's coming down, it's about time, wake minds, never gonna take mine, all about peace, but make no mistake, I, when assaulted by something else, don't hesitate to act and defend myself, I don't wait for any signal except inside me, and I'm grateful that I listen to these, got to commit a fraud here. Number two, if you don't vote, you're boycotting. Do you folks remember one of the great, great, great pastimes that this country was founded on and we have forgotten? That's right, boycott. So, if you can't get the gig after this that you're done. I, as a matter of fact, you shouldn't be anywhere near a voting booth and I will make sure to that. Okay, because us patriots who will literally die for this fucking country know what we're doing. 
so it's best people just stay the fuck out of our way. Either get in line or get the fuck out. Some lawmakers are pushing for measures such as requiring voters to show a photo ID before being allowed to cast a ballot. Yeah, that would be a good idea, right? Nah, Obama didn't think so. Because he wants the Mexicans and shit to vote. Well, if you give them all free shit, who the fuck do you think they're going to vote for? Another bill would criminalize anyone who delivers a ballot for someone unable to drive to the polls. How with so much emphasis on one vote for one person, do you think lawmakers would make sure they follow the rules too? And tonight, CBS 42 investigates. Nancy Wilson found out many don't. It's a record about Clark Lee Green Bell. I mean, this is... This is fucking disgusting. It literally almost made me sick. And I don't even know if I can watch it now. This really isn't even the government. These is just the low level slime balls. Imagine what they're doing at the top where you can't see shit. This is State Representative Debbie Riddle. She authored a bill that would require voters to show a photo ID. Start bringing the bell to record vote. It's all about integrity. Record vote. But the integrity of one person, one vote doesn't apply at the legislature. We found many lawmakers vote more than once. Take a look. Riddle votes, turns around, votes again for State Rep. Kipple. Rewind. And watch them down the screen. Elkins goes to vote for Merrick, but Hancock is faster. Elkins heads back to his desk, but before he can vote, Joe Krabs turns around and beats him to it. There is so much going on during the vote on an HPV vaccine mandate, you really have to pay attention. Start with State Rep. Hamilton at his desk. He leans over to vote a second time for his desk mate, Dan Branch. Then reaches back to vote for Charlie Howard and cast him. So folks, it's, it's a fucking chicken race. Whoever isn't there, their shit's up for grabs. Unfucking believable. A fourth vote for Wayne Smith. I, I can tell you He's right now. I can tell you right now. If I was witnessing this, not a fucking chance in hell. Not one person. What the fuck planet am I on? Scrambling the vote. We won the video. Take a look at the top of the screen. State Rep. West and Phillips both lean over the votes for themselves and their deskmates. Phillips votes a third time for Christian. On the left, Donna Howard votes for State Rep. Bo. State Rep. Donald didn't have to leave his chair to cast four votes one for himself, then for Coleman, Martina Fisher, and then Vesey. Sometimes the voting is across party lines. Hartman, a Republican, reaches back to vote for Democrat Olaveda. Democrat Matt Reynolds votes for Republican England. And Republican John Davis votes for Democrat Col Hello! Did you folks catch who each person was voting for? In case you're deaf. Then Sometimes the voting is across party lines. Hartman, a Republican, reaches back to vote for Democrat Oliveira. Okay. Democrat Matt Reynolds votes for Republican England. And re okay. The Democrats are voting for the Republicans. The Republicans are voting for the Democrats. Yet? Yeah. Catching on yet? Republican John Davis votes for Democrat Noriega. Most voters have no way of knowing if their lawmakers are actually casting their own vote. Even though the legislature is broadcast on cable TV, the cameras change from this to this when it's time to vote. Oh, what a quaint day. are sitting on the third floor gallery. I certainly noticed that this, there appear to be far more votes on the tip board than there were people in the, in the vote. Carney and Laurel Weiss were baffled when they came to see the legislature in action. It seems uh, very appropriate that we should do something about it. Uh, 
State Rep. Debbie Reynolds says voting for other members is done out of necessity. We have a lot of votes. We have a lot of amendments. And there's times when we don't like the lunch. And I would have stood up in the middle of everyone and yelled, every single one of you is under citizen's arrest for fucking treason. Does anybody in this fucking country know what treason is? The only crime mentioned in the Constitution. We don't break the bill. We don't have bathroom breaks. Necessity or not, one thing is clear. They aren't supposed to be doing it. According to the official House rules, written, voted, and approved by lawmakers at the beginning of the session, any member found guilty by the House of knowingly voting for another member on the voting machine shall be subject to discipline deemed appropriate by the House. So, should lawmakers I, do I can't it? fucking watch anymore. If you don't fucking get the message, what's wrong with you? We had this not even the real voting. So this was last year, my buddy Nate on the boat, and uh, so the guy gives him his ticket stub, his receipt, there's nobody in there or nothing, okay, we'll get back to that, okay, so the guy tells him, you can use this to make sure they counted your vote. Per person, so whichever one. Oh, okay, so you voted in person, you get your ballot to the scanner? Yeah, they gave me little receipts that I could, you know, call in and make sure that it got counted. Uh, okay, because it received something from professional voters. Yeah. One person doesn't know what Wait, the fucking others do. Wait, you only know what the fucking others do. Okay. The one voting person doesn't know what the fucking next voting person's doing. No clue. And then the lady says, well, we pick 1%, and then, you know, let it, like it's a fucking conveyor belt for, for a food fucking manufacturing plant. Yeah, every now and then, you know, we check out 1%, we take the sample bag off and make sure it's working. Take a sample fucking vote and make sure that fucking voting machine's working? How the fuck do you know if the one you just passed up was the one? Folks, the third world countries have this shit down pat. Fine. One percent? What the fuck did he... I just say, she's got no clue what she's talking about. She's fucking telling them how, how to rip the fucking ticket. Yeah, they put the ballot through the scanner. Why, you put it through there twice? With, I don't, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I mean, just... Just listening to that woman not have a clue what he was telling her the other guy did. See, she didn't, she, she understood. She's just like, yeah, I don't see what you're getting at. You knew damn well what he was fucking getting at. Acting like it's the first fucking time ever somebody wants to make sure their vote was counted. Oh, don't worry, we're getting to the voting machines. Okay, so if, like, if next time I wanted to check that my uh, vote got scanned properly, should I, like, vote by mail next time, or do a provisional ballot, or what would you recommend? Well, one, one way or another, it's going to come from scanner. Whether it's at a polling place, or it's the scanners that the DVM ballots are scanned on, or even once the provisional ballots are okay, scanner. Well, you know, he, like, he asks, he tells her. No, he asked if I wanted my receipt. I said, you know, what's the receipt for? He said, you know, you could keep it for your personal records. You could call in to make sure that your uh, your ballot was processed correctly. Yeah, that, that. 
I don't know what you're talking about, man. Unfucking real. I mean, folks, this is a guy calling, asking about his voting. He's asking lots of questions. Don't you might think, uh, maybe this guy's a reporter or something. I should probably be truthful and answer his questions. No, she still bullshits him. Folks, Simpsons. Okay. They expose shit so much it's not funny. Subliminal messages and all sorts of shit. For another time. But this is what they exposed. Who owns voting machines? Mitt Romney and his family. John Kerry and his wife, who, by the way, owns Heinz Ketchup. And Melvin Bush, W's little brother. What a fucking coincidence, folks. George Bush lost that fucking election by a fucking landslide. Al Gore should have been president. Oh no, folks. How in the bloody hell, out of 300 million fucking people, do you have a tie? A recount? Oh, and all of a sudden... Oh, and his brother Jeb, he's the fucking governor. Florida just happens to be where this fucking happens. And Melvin Bush just happens to own the voting machine company. Just like Jeb Bush just happens to own Century for New American, or New American, whatever it fucking is. The think tank. One world government. Fucking oligarchy. Damn monarchy, if you ask me. I'm not even close to that. Rigged voting machines. What the fuck is with the curtain? Ooh, folks, this is just blatant in your face. You're either a fucking moron or you're willingly and knowingly voting for evil. I'm voting for the lesser evil. You're still voting for evil, asshole. That's it for now. There'll be more though.